kitchen again y'all I am gonna do another video for you that is cooking and baking related this time I think it's just gonna be a mishmash of different things if you're new here my name is Lynette I am Mennonite and we live in Sarasota Florida I grew up Amish and I generally tend to cook that way but I'm also one who likes to try new things and I like variety so I honestly really haven't planned out the video I did start some sourdough bread this morning and I think I might do another something sourdough related, although I'm not really sure yet at this point. I, I just wanna do some baking and then also I'll probably be cooking some dinners. So I thought I'd show you guys that. Hopefully it gives you guys ideas. Refer to the description box if you have any questions about recipes, I'll either link them or write them out for you if I can. And hopefully you enjoy the video. making some chocolate chip sourdough scones. I don't think I've made the sourdough kind before, so it's a new recipe. I found it on Pinterest, littlespoonfarm.com. And I had put the butter in the freezer last night. It's messy, you don't want to touch it because it's very greasy. So I thought I'd add that with all the kids around a lot of the time, it tends to become more of like a vlog style cooking video. <laughs> it's not necessarily perfectly curated uh, video where it's just, you know, beautifully detailed shots and stuff, but hopefully it gives you an idea. I am just trying to kind of go with it and to show you guys what we're doing. So a quick shout out Dutch Valley Design for their cutting boards, knife blocks, you name it. I also have this one that always sits out on my counter. They also have these magnetic knife blocks. They've got different styles, varieties. I, I pulled my big one off right now so I don't have a lot of knives sitting here but it's, it's magnetic and it just sits like that. Some smaller pieces. And then they also have some like shelves, picture ledge shelves and things like that. So definitely check them out and use my code I'll have it in the description box or I'll try to link it here in the cards if I remember. But you can get it's 5% off your order. They're an Etsy shop, small shop based in Holmes County. They're friends of ours. We've gotten to know them through the course of working together and things like that. Nick buys these a lot for his realtor closing gifts that he does for his clients. So they are just great, super high quality. Go check them out in the description box.
So I'm gonna make an espresso brown sugar glaze to put over the scones. These got just a little brown, as you can see. I don't know why, because I feel like I didn't even bake them as long as they were supposed to. So I'm hoping inside they're okay and that it's just sort of golden because of the milk I brushed on them. But I'm gonna put a glaze over top. Uh, it's the recipes from my friend Dorcas. So I am gonna see how they turn out. They're not the best I've ever made, I'll say that. And I think that's just because I just baked them too long, which really annoys me when I do that. I'm like, why? It's so unnecessary, right? Otherwise, the taste is great. Um, these have cooled down quite a bit though. So even if they were warmer, they would even be a little bit more uh, probably like moist. But I like the recipe and you don't taste sourdough, nothing like, but it's, you know that it's, at least a little bit healthier than just your regular uh, scones. So, I mean, give them a try if you haven't. Just don't over mix them. That's usually the problem with scones. And make sure you chill them before you put them in the oven. I've done them that I'm in a hurry and I didn't chill them and they just didn't work. They got dry and I don't know what all. It's just, they didn't work out. So, besides for me slightly over baking these, they turned out good. She's having some of my baked oatmeal that I just made. Mmm. Can you say mmm? Mmm. Lift up a shout of So I decided to make the gyros this evening and also a just like a tossed salad. So I was out of croutons and I just decided to make my own. I used some different types of seasonings, not really a certain recipe. And then my sister called me back and I was chatting with her for a little bit. So I thought I'd let you all hear a little bit of the Pennsylvania Dutch since I know you guys enjoy <laughs> hearing that on occasion. Nee, ich bin ein wilder Filmer und das ist Prep für das Marinade des Chicken. Was du ein gute Tzatziki Recipe, mir war ich ein Google Pinterest, aber... Nee, ich hab schon gelernt, aber ich bin ja... Ich bin ja wirklich nicht, aber ich bin ja nicht besser. Oh, lift up your voice and sing. Oh, lift up a shout. Are you still eating your watermelon? Yeah. Yeah. You look a little bit like a ragamuffin in your very big shirt. <laughs> Here are the gyros disassembled. This is the chicken. We've got the pita bread and then the toppings and the tzatziki sauce. I think they turned out pretty good. I also had some pork that I heated up that I hadn't used from another meal that the kids were eating more. Uh, but I liked these. I will say though that tzatziki sauce was plenty garlicky, so I'd say be careful if you are making it. But yeah, I, I liked it and I enjoy making some new things on occasion. 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to roll out my bread dough. This is the cinnamon brown sugar swirl bread sourdough. I'm gonna roll it out and then I'm gonna let it proof in the fridge all night and then let it rise in the morning so I can bake it tomorrow. Wow, that looks good. Who wants to try it? Me. Okay, no. Oakland. Mm, go tell Caden if you want some to come. I like it. So the recipe did not call for cream cheese, but I added a little bit in here at the end just to add some creaminess, but I'll link the recipe below. So here's an idea for you to make some mocktails, I guess. I cooked down some frozen berries. You could also just do like blackberries or something like that. Uh, my friend Dorcas often makes mocktails and uh, you literally can't beat her. So this is sort of like a spin on it. She had done some blackberry lemonade but I didn't get the amounts quite right so basically I tell you to cook down your berries add a little bit of sugar and maybe a little tiny bit of water just to help it and then you strain the juice and it could stay in your fridge for a while too but then you can add in like your ice a little bit of syrup and then you add in like sprite or maybe ginger ale or something along with maybe some fresh berries if you have them I did add the lemons to it, but it, the ratio was not quite right with that one. So I added in some mojito mint uh, syrup as well, and then the Sprite, and that seemed to give it some more kick. I had made it for Nick. So hopefully this gives you an idea. I'll try to link a recipe below for one that you can go off of better because I know that this is not exact, which is typical me. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna make, or maybe the final thing for this video, is a chocolate chip bunt cake. Uh, my parents are coming over tonight. They've been gone for a while on their Israel tour and we're gonna have pizza, but I decided I need to make something for dessert. Yeah. 
So I brewed some more espresso and decided to make an espresso glaze to go over the cake. And I did not put in butter like I did with the original recipe. I, you could if you wanted to, but this is basically the same recipe just with no butter so you don't need the saucepan. And we thought it turned out good. I also added in a little bit of Nutella. That's totally optional. I did figure out that the cake is actually better like a day later. If it sits for about a day, it's even better than it is the first day, which is just really cool. So it could totally be made ahead. You could even maybe put it in the fridge. So yeah, we really enjoyed it and it's a really easy cake and it makes it look like more fancy than just your normal like sheet cake, if you will. Uh, yeah, the espresso glaze really kind of just added an extra punch and it was really good. You could also do like a peanut butter glaze if you'd want. That could also be really yummy. So hopefully you enjoyed the video today. If you're still here and you're new, hit the subscribe button. We'd love that. I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.